Hey YouTube, uh, formerly the off-grid amateur, now hosting the channel Amicus Fire Pits. Uh, this is about retrofitting a van for van dwelling, van life, and having an air conditioner uh, window unit that you can operate off of a generator, shore power, and the like. Um, if you get a chance, go check out the Amicus Fire Pits portions. The video is really cool fire pit for uh, creating a smokeless campfire. But this video is about this air conditioner install. It's not entirely finished, but I started by having this glass removed. I took it to a glass shop and had them take this side out. And the glass shop charged me $50 to do that. And then I had to uh, mount by drilling several holes through the metal flange. We'll go inside the van and you'll be able to see that. And uh, drilled several eighth inch holes so that I could run these coarse thread drywall screws through. You can see the metal sticking out right there. Uh, eventually this is going to get painted and there's going to be caulking. This is by far from finished. Uh, need to have some caulking, weatherproof caulking silicone around here to prevent water from getting in. Uh, but the things that you need to do to do this is you got to cut the height on this 5000 BTU AC about a half inch taller. This is 12 inches and I had to cut a 12 and a half inch opening top to bottom. And then the width is slightly larger than the actual 16th inch, 16 inch width. Uh, across the top here um, but with that 12 and a half inch opening that allowed me to get the necessary tilt so that the condensate that forms with this drains outside of the van now this is for a, a van that is for uh, nearly full-time living but one of the best ways to check to make sure you've got tilt once you've installed it is just take a, a weight on a string this is just a drill bit got it on a string hold it up here on this corner and then come down here, I'm going to steady that, and you should have a gap. There's about a half inch gap right there. That means this is tilted out and it's going to drain outside. Um, also wanted to put these screws in and I cut those off with a, a grinder and, and a cutoff wheel. Uh, trimmed them almost flush and then used a, uh, uh, I'm trying to do this one handed, but used a, a tiger paw wheel, a flap wheel, to uh, buff them smooth. And once they're buffed smooth, uh, you can paint over them, but nobody's going to be able to remove these from outside the vehicle. Those have to be done from the inside. There's even one on the, the lip here, and I did some mounting brackets on the inside that hold it and lock it into this tilted position. And those go all the way around the entire. I just uh, put them in between the spot weld joints that are in that flange. As far as running this, this, this vehicle has its own electrical system inside. That's another video because it used to belong to the Ohio Bureau of Workers' Compensation. They used it as a surveillance vehicle. But if you wanted to run this on the road or when you're not running the vehicle, I've got an inverter generator here connected uh, with a, a locking cable to, to deter theft. And I lace that through what's down here. I lace that through what they call those uh, safety chain catches right here. Went through both of them. So if you're concerned about somebody stealing this generator, you can always do that. Let me zoom out just a little bit, make this better. But uh, ratchet strap holds it secure. This is one of those uh, folding hitch mounts for carrying stuff. You can fold it up or set it down. So depending on what you're trying to do. But I just got the ratchet strap on here, and in theory, I haven't tried this, I believe you could run this generator while you're driving down the road uh, on its own independent fuel source and have air conditioning in this van because the AC in this van doesn't work and it would just cost too much to, uh, to set it up so that the AC would work. And then, of course, you'd have to have the engine on to enjoy air conditioning, but you wouldn't have to have that with this setup. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of a curve and a profile here. So I, I started up here, attached all the ones in the top, and then started putting progressively on each side the screws down in. That's from the inside. And drew, was able to draw that plywood. This is half inch treated. Draw it in tight and match that profile uh, so that there's that slight curve is there. You can see that slight curve right there. So that right there is, is how the entire thing is mounted to it. Drips to the outside. Condensate may or may not drip on the generator. But that's not going to hurt anything because it's just going to dry out so fast anyway, especially if you're in a hot climate. But uh, you got it locked up, and if you cut out a section of this expanded metal, 
you can gain access to the pull cord. So you can just reach in with your hands. You can actually start it without moving it. Uh, that would be really beneficial if you needed to get uh, get it going without having to actually drop this this hitch carrier out of the way to start it and put it all back together. So it just makes it quick and easy. But uh, let's go inside the van and uh, you can take a look at how it's mounted on the inside. Okay, so we're on the inside of the van, a little bit darker in here, but you can see where I uh, put the uh, drywall screws through the coarse threads. Uh, I just drilled in between every one of their spot welds. You can see a spot weld right there and I put in between those right on the edge. And then something else to maintain that tilt, I, I installed a bracket. I made this myself so that I could hold that position. So when you're drilling in to attach these screws, you have to be careful that you're not drilling using too long of screws and you're not gonna penetrate any of the refrigeration lines inside the air conditioner to keep that up and running. Now, that's got Gorilla Tape, and this is just the quick and dirty, and it'll be cleaned up and better looking uh, by the owner of this vehicle eventually. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to show you, I did that on both sides. That holds this air conditioner steady. And to clean the filter, you do need to open the door because it's, it's over here, okay? But when you're not running the air conditioner, <laughs> that's another video. This is a, I'll have to show you this. It's a, a, a piece of four inch ductwork that goes down through this box. As I said, this used to be a, a surveillance vehicle. Expands to six inch. And this is one of those six inch inline duct fans and I've got like a strainer up here. Uh, the strainer is to uh, prevent insects from being drawn up into the van uh, while you're driving or while this is running. And this is just gonna create positive air pressure uh, ventilation, but that's a different video. Uh, this is really all I wanted to say about this. If you have any questions, comments, the van's only gonna be here for a couple more days, so I'm only gonna be able to shoot this video. It's probably leaving tomorrow afternoon. So, so if you have any questions about this or you need to see more images, put it in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.